In today's session, we will discuss the lease accounting from the lessee's perspective. We will start with amortization of a right of use asset RO. The question is, how does a lessee amortize the right of use asset? A lessee amortizes the right of use asset on a straight line basis. The right of use asset is generally amortized over the shorter of its lifetime or the lease term. Is there an exception to the general rule of amortizing the right of use asset over the shorter of its useful life or the lease term? The exception is that, if at the end of the lease term, 1. The ownership of the leased asset is transferred to the lessee, or 2. The lessee is reasonably certain to exercise the purchase option, the amortization period is the useful life of the leased asset. If we associate each of the five lease classification criteria and satisfied with the amortization period of right of use asset, what the case will be? The case will be as follows. Criterion 1 Transfer of Ownership Amortization period is the useful life of the leased asset. Criterion 2 Exercise of Purchase Option Amortization period is the useful life of the leased asset. Criterion 3 Major part of the remaining useful life Amortization period is the shorter of right of use assets useful life or lease term. Criterion 4 Substantially all the fair value Amortization period is the shorter of right of use assets useful life or lease term. And criterion 5 no alternative use to the lesser amortization period is the shorter of right of use assets useful life or lease term. Based on the example of S and a company included in all previous videos in connection with leases, how to amortize the right of use asset? In the example of S and a company, the lessee is reasonably certain to exercise the option of purchase the machine. The right of use asset is therefore amortized over the useful life of the machine of five years. Annual amortization expense of $51,991, being the right of use at the commencement of the lease of $259,955 divided by 5 years, is recognized by S and A. The journal entry is debit amortization expense of $51,991, and credit accumulated amortization on right of use asset for $51,991. Accordingly, in its balance sheet of year 1, s and reports the right of use asset at $207,964, being $259,955 right of use at least commencement date minus $51,991 accumulated amortization on right of use asset at the end of year 1. Considering that the interest expenses of $25,995 $18,595, and $10,455 were recognized over the lease term by the lessee for years 1 through year 3 respectively as shown in the previous videos, what are the total lease expenses for years 1 through year 5 that should be shown in the income statement of the lessee, providing that the right of use asset is amortized over the useful life of the leased asset of 5 years on a straight line basis? Lease expense is commonly composed of two components. 1. The interest expense and 2. The amortization of the right of use asset. For year 1, total lease expenses is $77,986, being interest expense of $25,995 plus $51,991 amortization of the right of use asset. For year 2, total lease expenses is $70,586, being interest expense of $18,595 plus $51,991 amortization of the right of use asset for year 3, total lease expense is $62,446, being interest expense of $10,455 plus $51,991 amortization of right of use asset for year 4. Because lease term has elapsed and no more interest expense is charged, the total lease expense is only $51,991, being the amortization of right of use asset. For year 5, total lease expense is the same as for year 4. Thus, the total lease expenses for the 5 years is $315,000. $77,986 plus $70,586 plus $62,446 plus $51,991 plus $51,991, which equals the total lease payments of $315,000. 
I have a reservation about considering the amortization of right of use asset for year 4 and year 5 as lease expenses, instead, it should be considered as an asset depreciation expense, because by the beginning of year 4, the lease term has elapsed and the leased asset has become an asset owned by the lessee as a result of the purchase option exercised. This item is for you to reconsider. The current accounting treatment is to reconcile the total lease payments to the total lease expenses. However, we will review this item again. The session is up. Thank you.